like promised, there's the DVR on my Cyclops goggles. Let's see how I've done it, eh? Okay, guys, this is just a close-up of the board. It's still at its mount, and the power cable and the screen cable are still connected. You can see the added wires of the white, which was the original power that I put in for the OLED screen. So I've just broken into that to give me my 5 volts. I've added a new ground wire in on the plug. That was the second one down, which is the grey wire. And I have added the signal. So the signal is this white wire here, and it's coming off the bottom pin of this plug. I've just soldered it straight in the back. And I've now got a bit of glue goop holding back everything like I have up here at the top. And the black you see is I've just poured over some liquid tape over everything because I like a little bit of liquid tape in case I've splattered a bit of solder here and there that could flake off or touch or do something. I just pour a little bit of the liquid tape on the back of it there. Okay, so I've just connected that up to the other end of the servo lead. Okay, so those three wires are now signal 5 volt and ground on the end of a servo lead which is long enough to wrap around and go inside the unit to the other side of the unit. And, okay, just a quick jump cut to the DVR. Okay, so all I've done here is cut off the end of a servo plug and I have put three pins in the end. Those pins are now connected to it, inside it. And I have just hunt, heat shrunk the other three wires uh, terminated inside there, just cut shorter than each other, and inside that little bit of heat shrink. And all I have done is whacked a bit of heat shrink all the way on to the end of the plug. So this is going to be hanging out. This part here will be hanging, oh, where am I? This part here will be hanging out of the goggles that I click into the H, into the DVR and we'll just tape the DVR on. I'll show you that bit. Okay, so that's what I've done there. And that's going to connect on to the other side of that lead. Let me just get it out for a second. Back out of the monitor. There it is there. That's the one that I've done the solder work on. And then that should just connect straight on to there. And that's it. So I might just put a little bit of tape on that. But if I ever want to take that wire off, I can now. And it will come away from there and we can just plug it straight back in. Cool. Okay. That's it, guys. I'll show you the other side. Okay, so you can just see how I've brought that cable out with the strap. And in here I put a bit of tape holding that servo clip together so she doesn't pull out. And there's the lead just out with the strap. So we can put the lid back on. Over here now I have mounted my screen on the inside. So it's actually, when it gets closed, will be on the inside. Pushed over to the side there. And that's on the inside, so hopefully that will get the upgrade with the dimming, so I can dim the screen after I've used it, and it will go off. And then when I press the scan button, it will come back on inside of the actual goggle. So that will be protected in there. 
Okay, guys, I'll just whack the lid on this and we'll stick the DVR in and we'll see if she works. And Okay, well, we should be able to just plug this in now. There'll be some parts a little bit more out of focus than others, but we'll plug the power in. Okay, so there's the Cyclops software coming on on the screen. And we've got our LED on our HMDVR. And on the inside is we've got a powered monitor. Okay, so we've got our little LED screen in the corner there. So as we look in, we don't quite see it. All right, and the DVR is up here coming through the little cord, stuck on with a bit of double-sided tape. And she's looks like she's working. So I'll get a quad up with a camera going and we'll get some footage. So we'll just take the props off and we'll power up a camera. Okay, we've got a uh, got the quad pointing at a couple of different things. Everything's come on there. Yes, we do have a picture. Whether you can see that or not, I don't know. Can you see my fingers moving in the screen there? Maybe you can't. Anyway, well, what we'll do is I'll push record. So we'll get this. Okay, so now we are recording an image. So I'll just lift that up. All right, we'll just take an image of a few things. Take a shot of Steve-O. All right. Back around, land her back on the desk. Let's see what we got off that, eh? Okay, guys, I've just dubbed over the top of this, but you can see there that there is a few vertical, I mean, diagonal lines of noise. You can actually hear the noise in the background. So we have to get rid of that. Okay, not too bad a picture quality though, yeah, okay. Okay, so how's that? For a hundred and just under hundred and fifty dollars, that's with everything included that we've done, that's the goggles 99, 30, nine dollars seven dollars for the screen and my time I've owned the goggles two weeks I now have a set of brilliant I think it's 480 by 800 with a nice screen in it I've got my scanning screen happening and I've got my DVR capability I've got a good set of FPV goggles I've owned them two weeks, I've done some flying and I've put those on and I've recorded it and videoed it. It's been easy guys. Great value, just under $150, everything delivered and it does the works. I can now scan 40 channels, okay? I can record my day out of the small machines. I don't have to worry about whacking a GoPro or a Mobius on or anything if I don't want to. If it's just recording me, it's done. We saw the footage was a nice clear footage except for those diagonal noise lines. Those diagonal noise lines, well, we're going to quickly have a look on Google, find that the smallest noise solution we can and whack it in. There's plenty of room in there for it. That'll get rid of that noise. I'm going to do that ASAP. So hopefully even before I put up some more recorded footage out of the DVR, will actually have that noise gone, okay? If not, you can comment on the slacker. So if you like what I've done, if you like these mods, um, I have just copied along with a few of the other guys. That firmware upgrade is fantastic. We've now got a great set of goggles from Hobby King. So version two Hobby King, let's have it all in there for almost the same money, hey guys? Okay, subscribe, like, Dislike. See you next time.